Hey guys, Izzy here again at Donny FL. Uh, we are going to be working on a Hotsam Blitz. If I recall correctly, this is the 25 caliber version of it. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding double bottles on this thing. So, yes, like the impact uh, double bottle lab adapter we have for it, we are going to be util utilizing this. We have a new part which is this. So this is actually gonna allow us to convert from a single bottle and allow us to put a double bottle adapter to it. So this, these are actually gonna go together and then we're gonna be able to put two bottles on here. So if we had two of the 580 cc bottles, that's over uh, 1100 cc's of air. You know what that means, more shooting time or you know less time filling with air so we're gonna go ahead and go through the process uh, on this um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this so remember safety first your safety should be on always this gun is already degassed but I'm still gonna take you through that process of degassing the gun but before we degas it I want to make this gun safe so most of the time your gun is going to be caught so that right there, like I said, this gun's already degassed. So right there, the gun is already ready to go. As you can tell, it fired. So if it's cocked, what you wanna do, it's ready to go. You wanna bring this back just before that notch starts right there. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna hold it back. You're gonna pull the trigger. And you're gonna hear that went off. So now it's safe. It's not loaded, it's good to go. So, Put that back on safety just for precautionary measures. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip this gun upside down. You're gonna need a five millimeter Allen. This is gonna be between the trigger and the gauge. There's gonna be a hole and there's a screw there. You're just gonna loosen that all the way. You're gonna back it out all the way out. You don't need to pull the screw out. You can leave it in place. And that's gonna allow us to remove the stock on the blitz you can leave the screw there it ain't gonna go nowhere so what you're gonna do next you can get a socket and loosen this gauge slightly until you start seeing air bleed out of it once you bleed out all the air is gonna be safe to remove the bottle uh, this gun already had the double bottle adapter so the original bottle is not on here. We actually actually utilized the bottle on something else. So before you guys ask, why does it have an FX bottle on there? For video purposes. So the original bottle is a 580 bottle. This is just a 480. So what you're gonna do once this is removed, you may need to heat this up a little bit to loosen the Loctite that they use in there. You probably won't need it. But if you do, do not use a torch. Use a heat gun only, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab, best place to do is grab it from down here where it's all metal. If you want, you can put it on a vise. You can clamp it on there. Just remember to only clamp on the aluminum block right here, nowhere else. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna loosen the bottle. There is an O-ring in there. And again, if it's under pressure, this bottle is not gonna turn at all. So we're gonna back this out all the way. If you do need additional force to remove this bottle, we do have the bottle degassing kit, which has a clamp to grab onto the bottle itself. It gives you that leverage to turn it. Most likely you won't need it, but like I said, if it's under pressure, it's not gonna turn. So there's that. All right, so removing that bottle left us with a O-ring behind. And this O-ring normally is on the factory bottle in there. And you'll see how it goes in there, how it's set. So this is a little oversized for it, but it still works. So there you go, that's how that O-ring is set in there. So we're gonna need that O-ring for the next process. So this is our new part. This is actually what allows us to adapt our double bottle adapter to the blitz. So what you're gonna do, make sure that your O-ring is well greased. This one is still greased from earlier. 
So you're just gonna set it in there. And sometimes it gets a little slippery because of the lubricant, but let's see. Yeah, come on. I'm sure there's gonna be a fast forward video of this, a time lapse of me struggling with this, but all right, let's see. I think we, there we go, we got it in. So what we're gonna do now is, I like putting the gun straight up and then just dropping this straight down very carefully. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna thread this all the way down. Make sure that that O-ring is not out of place so you don't pinch it and damage it. It's gonna be a lot easier for the next step to use a socket. I don't have a socket this size. So, just for you guys to know what size socket you guys need, a uh, 21 millimeter socket is what you need, okay? So, there you go, 20.99, so it's a 21 millimeter socket. There you go. Um, so, 20, 20 millimeter socket is what you're gonna need. You do not need to put a lot of force on this. Um, you can use an adjustable wrench as well. So you see, I just got a small bit there. Once it stops turning, that's all you need. You do not need to over tighten it. It's just to squeeze that O-ring in there, creating a seal. So we got that on there now. Next step is gonna be getting our double bottle adapter. This is for the uh, FX Impact MK2 and M3. Um, so what we're gonna do, again, there's an O-ring right here in this surface here. Make sure that O-ring is well lubricated and ready to go. Uh, we still got some lubrication on the face of this when I had it set up earlier. So we should be good to go. So pretty much all we're gonna do is we're gonna get our bottle adapter. We're gonna slide it right over. And you're gonna see that, you know, there's a lot of play and jiggle room in there. But this is actually takes care of that. So you see how that's set there. We're just gonna put this on there, up on top. And with this one, there's, you can either use a 14 millimeter socket or a 916 socket. They're both technically the same size. All right, so again, socket works best. I don't have my uh, ratchet for that, but I do have a wrench with a box end. So we're just gonna snug that down. Flip it over, there we go. Gonna snug that down. We're gonna make sure it's actually level with each other because you don't want the one bottle hanging off lower than the other. So that's actually pretty good. And we're gonna give it a small snug on there. All right, so what that did, now it's pushing against the O-ring on this adapter down here. This cap has an O-ring, so it's sealing up here. So the two ends on it are completely sealed and ready to go. So now that we got that together, we're gonna be laying this back down again. We're gonna put the stock back on. All right, so we got that on. And you can see how it's actually pretty level on there. So we don't have any leveling issues with that. We're gonna tighten down that screw up here again. All right. And again, you don't want to over tighten this. This is tightening on a on plastic. You don't want to deform that. So just snug, just enough to hold everything together. You should be fine. All right, so now that we got that on there, we can get our bottles. All right, so we got rid of this bottle. That one's completely degassed. Um, when you remove it, there's no valve on there, so if you do decide to reuse the bottle that you took off, which is a 580cc bottle, again, this is just a example of the bottle so we can show you how it's done. Um, you're gonna need a bottle valve. And you see, this is the original FX bottle valve. The M3 valve works as well. Uh, these are both uh, previous to the M3. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna snug one down we're not going to tighten it all the way 
Once you start feeling a little bit of resistance, you'll see that it just stopped. That's where you want to stop. You don't want to keep going with that. If you keep going, it's going to open that valve and you're going to bleed out all the air. From Our second bottle there, we're going to do the same process as well. All right, so there you go. That stopped right there. So now we're actually sealed on this. So we can actually start tightening this down on one side. And you see the air is already up. We're gonna do that. We're gonna snug the other side down. So now we can actually snug down one side. All right, that side is snug down. And then this side is snug down. All right, so now we got a double bottle hot sun blitz with two 580 bottles on there. So that's that. Got another thing up our sleeve though. So as you can tell, these bottles uh, kind of flex a little. We don't want to put too much stress on that neck. So we have a new part as well. It's actually right there, that's what it is. This allows us to clamp the bottlenecks together to keep them from moving. And they are directional. They, if, if you can tell, this side here is a wider gap than this one. So the thinner side is gonna be going towards the end of the valve, and this is gonna go towards the end of the bottle. So it is directional. If you put it the wrong way, yeah, I'll show you what I mean here. So valve side, end of the bottle side. So you see that small taper on that neck? This actually conforms to that taper. If you put it this way, it's not gonna line up properly. It's gonna be all weird and it's, not, it's gonna damage the bottle. So you gotta make sure that that taper is facing the right way. And you see, it's actually flush in there. And I'll flip it over just so you see what it looks like when it's wrong. You know, it'll it'll still go on there, but it's not going to be it's not going to work properly on the on the once you get everything bolted together. And again, this here is also directional. This one is actually marked with an F for front, so this has to be facing the front of the gun itself. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this. And again, that's also marked with an F. So both are marked with an F. So you know which way they need to be facing. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that right here in this crevice. And we're gonna slide that up towards the bottle. All right, so I'm gonna hold that with my hand. I'm gonna put the other side in right here. This is gonna be a little bit tricky with one hand, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip this upside down. And this is a five millimeter screw as well. So we're gonna snug it all, not all the way tight in yet, but just enough to where we can make small adjustments and check everything. So what I like doing is I like lining these up and bottoming it on that nut right there, or bolt, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna make sure that that's seated all the way down. Once that's seated, we're gonna go ahead and continue with our tiny process. So we got one whole turn there, and then I'm gonna say probably about a quarter turn. Should be more than enough. So that's one and a half, or one and a quarter turns from regular snugging and then a quarter turn just to finalize it so that's actually pretty good so now we got bottle support right here for both bottles so we're not putting a lot of stress on there and we got a small section of picatinny rail down there too so if you want to add one of these on here it's not opened up all the way but you can add our small rail down there there you go you can add that small rail or if you want to mount it onto a tripod or anything else, 
you can put the small Arca to, uh, or Picatinny to Arca adapter as well. Um, but yeah, pretty much these just go on there. They slide, tie down on there. I actually had this on a tripod earlier, but it works really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that mounted on the tripod. Yeah, follow me this way as I roll away. There we go. So that's it. So now we actually have pressure on the gun and I'm not gonna go full auto, but it's cleared and oh, safety off. There we go. Double bottle hot sun blitz. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any, if you have any questions, feel free to message us and we'll try to answer your questions as soon as possible. Have a good one. Bye.